L'amore che strappa i capelli e per tutto me non resta che Welcome to this travel video. We are in an iconic park in Rome known as the Orange Garden. This park is next to a church, the Church of Santa Sabina, which if you had watched previous Vaticanos, that is where the Linton Station Church's pilgrimage begins. From my experience living in Rome these past five years, one of the greatest surprises I discovered initially, and I think many others find too when they come to the Eternal City, is the unexpected number of churches, many times containing relics and tombs of early Christian martyrs. When you visit the early churches in particular, you are walking in the footsteps of early Christians. Amidst all the buildings of ancient Rome, Christians were making walking pilgrimages to these tombs of the martyrs even before the legalization of Christianity. In the fourth century, once churches had been built to mark these places, the tradition of visiting a designated church on each day of Lent began. The exact order of churches was then codified by Pope Gregory the Great in the seventh century. Covering 40 churches in this one video is going to be difficult. So what we've done is come up with a plan to cover as many as possible, as efficiently as we can. Okay, so this is a standard paper map of the Eternal City that you can pick up at the tourist office. And while it's still useful, there are other ways to help us decide how we want to start and where we want to go. What we've done is created a customized Google map where you can find all 40 of them virtually. If you're watching this program online, you can find the link to the map in the description. Let's get this Linton pilgrimage started. After visiting the Basilica of Santa Sabina, we walked 10 minutes downhill from the Aventine to the Basilica of San Giorgio Alvarabro. Experiences at churches vary when you visit. Sometimes you have the place almost all to yourself. And other times there will be a large group with a mass happening, maybe even with a cardinal. We go next to others within walking distance that allow you to also see places of ancient Rome, such as Sant Anastasia, which is next to the Circus Maximus. Then, from the Roman Forum and Palatine Hill, you can visit Santi Giovanni e Paolo, a beautiful Baroque church with Roman houses underneath. Down the road from the Colosseum, there is the Basilica of San Clemente. Here you'll find a gold mosaic of Christ crucified and the relics of the fourth Pope after St. Peter, Pope St. Clement I. Okay, it's a little windy, but uh, thank you for joining us on this tour. As we can see, when you visit these churches, you can design the pilgrimage any way you prefer. You can focus on the churches themselves with extra time for prayer. You can mix it in with the side of ancient ruins or you can get a feel for the Rome of today.